In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. May the peace and blessings of Allah be on the Holy Prophet Muhammad and his holy progeny. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This talk will inshallah focus on the knowledge of Fatimah al-Zahra and what her life tells us about women with education and careers. I'm going to start off with a story around the time of Fatimah al-Zahra. One day, a lady came to Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, and she told her, I have an old, weak mother that has some problems with uh, regarding her prayers. She has sent me to ask some questions, if that's okay. So Fatima Zahra said, okay, go ahead. Ask as many as you want. So, so, she, so Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, said, yeah, sure, ask away. And the lady did. She started asking one question and then came another and another until she had asked about 10 questions. Fatima Zahra was answering all the questions patiently and happily. But the lady felt a bit bad. She had taken quite a, few, quite a bit of her time. So she said, oh daughter of the Prophet, you know, I think I've troubled you enough. Uh, I, I don't want to inconvenience you anymore. But she did really want to ask more questions. So Fatima Zahra said, no, ask me, ask me anything you don't know. And she said, let me tell you something. If a man was hired with a wage of thousand pounds, was dinars at that time, to carry a heavy load from the ground to the rooftop, would this make him tired? So the lady said, no, not with that kind of salary. So Fatima Zahra said, well, Allah has hired me. And his, my wage for answering each question is equal to pearls filled between the earth and the sky. And so it doesn't befit for me to show any exhaustion. So there are many things we can learn from this story. First of all, we can see the extent of knowledge of Fatima to Zahra. She had a huge bank of knowledge. Her words resemble Imam Ali, peace be upon him. Come, ask me, ask me before I leave. And this shows that she had lots of knowledge to give. Now where did she inherit this knowledge from? Well, she got it all from the Holy Prophet, peace be upon her. She got it from the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family. The Musnad of Fatima is a collection of hadith um, regarding spirituality, morals, cleanliness, but compiled by someone called al Suyuti. And it's a rich source of knowledge uh, from Fatima Zahra. The second thing we learn is that Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, taught her knowledge to others. So people would come and ask her regarding their problems and ask her for solutions. This was not limited to women only because men that would come to the house of Imam Ali to meet him would also benefit from the sayings of Fatima Zahra and they would also ask Fatima Zahra for things that they didn't understand like Abu Dhar, Salman al-Farsi and others. Her house was like a university where she called all the believing women and taught them about the religion of Islam. But her activities weren't restricted to her home. She would also go out and uh, to other ladies' homes and teach them there and educate them there. The proof of how good a teacher Fatima Zahra was is in her students. And one such example is um, Lady Fidda, the maidservant of Fatima Zahra. It is said that Fatima, Lady Fidda would only converse in the Holy Qur'an. So any time she would speak, she would speak using the ayat from the Holy Qur'an to get a message across. This is amazing, but it's not surprising because she used to be in the continuous um, care and company of Fatima Zahra. So we can expect that. The third important thing from this story is that we should all, especially the women, seek knowledge regarding Islamic laws and anything that we don't know actually. Sometimes women might think that this sort of knowledge is best left for men and that for women it's okay just to know about how to cook and raise children. But it's not enough. Women should equally gain knowledge to men and in all appropriate fields. So in summary the three things that we learnt are for one Fatima Zahra is a huge source of knowledge that we should learn from. Secondly, women must gain knowledge. And third thing is to teach others what you know. 
Fatima Zahra's knowledge wasn't limited to Islamic science. She was eloquent in speech and she surpassed all the Arabs in our language and literacy. If you, listen, if you read her a sermon of Fadr, you'll be surprised to see the use of her language. And that speech is full of similes and metaphors and she's very articulate which means she gets her message across she gets the message across clearly and she gets to her point also her intelligence shines in that speech because the people that oppressed her the reason why she went out to give that speak, speech was because people took further from her the god and her right so she went to defend that right and the people made up lame excuses without any logic and they came up with traditions just to justify their action of taking Fadr from her. But Fatima Zahra fired back with proofs from the Holy Quran, the Hadith and also just using logics. And when you are defeated in a debate, to continue arguing would make you look stupid and this is the effect Fatima Zahra had. Many cultures believe that their women should be locked behind doors and not let out to speak to anyone, any men. But Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, she went out of her home, she spoke to men. She didn't only speak to men, she challenged men. She didn't only challenge any men, she challenged the ruler of that time. And so this shows us that women can go out and speak. They can speak about political issues or whatever issues that are important. But Fatima Zahra, peace be upon us, she spoke behind a curtain and she maintains her hijab. So the important thing to remember is that the hijab shouldn't be bro broken and to speak of things that are really important and not things that have no purpose or meaning.